Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Full Time Tony. We're back with another episode of Culture's Food. I'm here with my guy, JC Coach. JC, where are we at today? We're back in Reno, man. We're here at Chihuahua's Cantina. We're here in South Reno. This is a family ran restaurant. Um, they've been around for the past 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Full Time Tony and we're back with another episode of Culture's Food. I'm here with my guy, JC Coach. JC, where are we at today? South Reno. We're here at Chihuahua's Cantina Mexican Kitchen. <laughs> it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be a great one today, guys. Um, this is a family ran restaurant. Um, they've been here for the past 17 years. They have a, their original restaurant in Winnemucca, which is in like Northeast Nevada. We're here in Northern Nevada now, in Reno, South Reno. Let's go check this family place out. Let's go dive in. Yo guys, I'm Anthony Lee. And I'm JC Coates. And we're gonna bring you the best food and drinks that the foodie culture has to offer. We are Culture, culture is, is food. food. How's it going guys? My name is Javier Rivera. I'm a GM and owner here at Chihuahua's Cantina Grill in South Reno. Currently this is our second location. First one is in Winnemucca, Nevada. Been open 16 years. Here in Reno, we've been here open three years now. And since we started, our main goal was always to be the number one Mexican restaurant, not only in Reno, but all of Northern Nevada. If you come in, you can see that with the decor, we got more of a modern decoration, a sports theme, fresh drinks. Our food is from Chihuahua, Mexico. So you'll notice a lot of steak, a lot of beef items on our menu. And that all comes from Northern Mexico where we're more ranching type people. We hope to see you guys all here soon catch all the games. We got plenty of flat screens and draft beers to enjoy all the action. Hello, my name is Dora Rivera. I'm the main chef and also I am the part of the owner and I've been enjoying it for 17 years. This place has been open for three years, but also we have another place uh, 200 miles from here that have been 16 years over there. And today we want to be serving Tony and JC. We want to serve al bocan. It's one of the main dishes over here, and it comes with uh, arrachero steak, which is a flank steak, and it comes with a uh, chicken breast, grilled shrimp, uh, nopales, it's a cactus, and a uh, queso fresco, and uh, green onions. And it comes with a really, really good fresh salsa. It is one of our main um, dishes. Also, we want to serve one chili relleno and a one chicken enchilada with the red sauce. And the other dish is gonna be ceviche, shrimp ceviche. Boom! Food is on the table. Listen guys, we're here in South Reno, we're out Chihuahuas. This is our second location, another location that's been around for about 16 years in Winnemucca. Family owned business, you got to meet the son, Javier, who is the GM here, runs the business here. His mom is in the back cooking. And yeah, and you know, his mom is the chef and all these recipes are her original recipes which so, is so I mean, cool how much more love can you get it's like a home cooked like meal yeah, yeah. like so. and the restaurant's super dope too here so really excited to dive in so let's dive in um, i'm gonna start with my drink first because right here is the chihuahua's margarita this is fantastic oh, the chihuahua margarita lemon lime uh organic agave and tequila it looks good it's delicious should we cheers oh oh Sorry. oh okay. cheers again cheers this is a really delicious uh margarita mm. smooth fresh clean you know sometimes you get a margarita, you're like, eh, it's like too heavy, like almost yeah. sweet and sweet. A little, little too sweet, yeah. A little, little, little too sour sometimes. Not, not this, this time. one. Yeah. Clean. It Easy looks money. like fresh fruit. Right? Easy money. You got a, a michelada. It's good. Woo. It's good. Spicy. Nice and spicy. Yeah. Great kick. Tastes great. Whole thing about this michelada, it's their own mix. Very cool. And it's made by our good friends over at Damon Industries. I, I did hear that, which is also very cool. Very cool. So uh, the local community that lives and thrives here. I'm gonna get one more, one more sip. Yeah. Last but not least, this is the uh, the mezcal paloma. Uh, uh, mes mezcal. Yeah, but yeah, but they call it something unique. So yeah. should we do a cheers? Oh, yeah. cheers. cheers. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. But, all right. Mm. Ooh, a little smoky. Smoky. Nice. Sweet. Not Ooh. sweet, but like smooth. Yeah. Tasty. That's good. Turn up. Dude, let's let's eat, bro. Look, look at let's, this food in front of us. It looks incredible. What's going on here? This is the volcano mahete. Mahete. And the mahete is this black thing. Ooh. Like black, black look, thing. It's, it's like, super it's, hot too. Yeah, it's right, like Casey? boiling. Um, it has the chicken, it has the shrimp, it has the asada, it has the green onions, the jalapenos. The, it, Queso fresca, onions. It's, it's just served, with, served with rice and beans. 
Woo, looks looks incredible. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. Sorry, okay. I think I'm good to go. I'm gonna get one of these. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little bit of everything, JC. Are you? Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna skip out here. We got so much good stuff going on here. Okay. I'm going in. Dive in, JC. Let's mm. see what you got. Let's see what you got. Mm. What we thinking? Mm. What we thinking? Mm. What you get? Mm. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Nice little spice. Traditional. Mm. Man, this is so good. The asada is nice and tender. Chicken's delicious. The rice and beans, though. There's something going on here. It's like you can tell the love is in the rice and beans. You can tell the love is in the rice and beans. Mm. I have a good kick, too. It does have a good kick. And, and look at the presentation. It's just yeah. incredible. We got some chorizo here. Full green onion. Mm. What you think about that? It's good. Bro. Uh oh, Jay Z's dancing. <laughs> Jay Z's dancing. He's got moves like Jagger right now. Moves, man. That's this good. is this might be a must here. It has I think, to be. Like you just get this, a couple of these guys right here. I, I mean, like we're gonna dive into the rest of the foods, but if we just did this one today, I mean, we should have more than enough. For us. Yeah, I mean, this is this is insanely good. Yeah, insanely made good. to be shared for sure. Wonderful partner, Joy, there you helping go. us here. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Joy. Nice work. Nice work. All for you. <laughs> okay, what so do we got, got here, Tony? This is the chili serranos. Um, this is the green chili stuffed with Monterey Jack cheese and your choice of flour or corn tortilla, man. This looks fantastic. And then we also have the um, the chicken mole enchiladas, which is a chicken enchilada smothered with our house-made mole sauce served with rice and beans. Mm, the mole sauce. What do you know about that, bro? I don't know much. You don't know much about that? I'm going to dive in and find out real soon. All right. I'm going for the chicken enchilada. I'm gonna go go with you. Mmm. Mmm. How's that? How's oh, that mole sauce? That is so good. The mole sauce is really kicking. Oh, it's not too much though. Mmm. That's perfect. That's fire, bro. It's perfect. This is That's fire. Bomb. Super traditional. I think this is my first time ever having chili serrano. To be honest with you, and I'm really happy this was my first one because mm. you might have a bad one in the past. It might ruin your your experience with chili serrano. Yeah. I mean, if you start off here, you start mm. starting in a good spot. For Mom sure. knows what she's doing. Mom does know what she, what she's doing. This is called the Tour de Salsa. The Tour de Salsa. We the got, Tour de Salsa. We got a, a verde. A verde. A verde. Sauce, guacamole and the queso, bro. I'm not diving on this verde sauce. Let me get to the, the guac. Oh, man. And I'm going to do it. Oh, oh, I'm going to do it. Same time? Oh, oh, I'm going to do it same time. Oh, oh, there we go. Mm. Oh, I'm going to just mix this mm. up. Mm. How was that? It was really good. The guacamole is where it's all about. Right? Try it, this. it just says Guac. everything about your Mexican restaurant, you know? The chili rellenos, mm. the guacamole. It's got to be a certain level, and they're, they're crushing it over here. I would call myself a guacamole connoisseur. That is proper guacamole. Mm. Let's put this and this in front of me. Guac chips, the mejete, and some margaritas, bro. You'd be That's happy guy. You'd be happy guy. <clears throat> That's all I need. Oh, I'm excited about this, bro. These are the, some tacos, the, right? The some carnitas. street tacos. The carnitas. The carnitas tacos. You know some love went in here. Right? Yeah. Oh, salt bay. Oh. Lime bay. You know, it's just how I'm living. Not, not, oh. not the same. Get the, okay. the double, the double. You want square. some sauce on yours? Get it, get it, bro. Get it. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little. Oh, it's an interesting pour you got there. That's like a backwards kind of like back it up in yeah. there. I like it. All right. Should we get a cheers on this bad boy? I think so. Like this is a serious taco. Ew. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Bro. Yes. That carnitas, bro. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Bro, it's perfect. You know, sometimes it can be a little bit too, a little too greasy, right? A little too fatty, right? A little bit too. Too much love in the sauce, right? But this, this is this is perfectly done. So tell chef in the back, she gotta stop making these because I'm gonna be five thousand pounds. Mm. I'm gonna eat a hundred of these tacos. Well, last but not least, we have the shrimp ceviche. Got some avocado on here. Nice fried tortillas. These are handmade right here. Yeah, fried. I mean, you just when you know, you know. You know. I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna throw it down. Keep diving make right a, in. Make a little sandwich open face sandwich, CBJ sandwich, you know? You know how we do. Mm. Mm. 
Ooh, How's that? First thing with flavor. First thing. Is it fresh? Mm. You feel refreshed? Super fresh. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. I'm super impressed, I would have to say. Because I love Mexican food. Like, it's kind of my thing, right? Uh -huh. And so I'm a little picky about it sometimes, you know what I mean? I know. But uh, listen, I don't have anything bad to say about this place. It tastes incredible. You can just feel the love going into it. It's a family-owned restaurant. The restaurant's super dope. It's got multiple TVs, lots of games going on. This is a second location. They've been doing this for 17 years now. Yeah. Been, you know, and you can tell them by the food, through and through. There's a reason why they're still here, yeah. 17 years later. Yeah. Right? They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. But listen, another episode of Culture, Culture is Food in the Books, man. In the books, dude. Let's cheers, cheers this bad boy out. Always a pleasure to eat with my good friend here, JC Cooks. Yeah. Appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time on Culture is Food. Peace.